Hello, this is Justin with SF Garnish Music Production. We are about to take all of our courses online in the coming months due to the coronavirus, and we just want to make sure that you guys are prepared knowing Zoom and also knowing how to connect your audio and screen preferences within Zoom and your digital audio workstation. So this is the link that I'm sending out to the students. You're going to want to click on that. But before we go to that, we're going to go into our preferences on our computer. And we want to make sure that in our security and privacy, security and privacy, within accessibility, we're going to go down and click make sure that zoom.us is, is enabled. My computer is already enabled, but if it's not showing up on this list, you're going to want to put in your code on your computer and unlock this section here. And then once you unlock it, you're going to press the plus button and search for the application Zoom. And then give access to Zoom. Once you do that, it'll pop up here. Click the checkbox and engage it to blue. And then you can then lock this up again. What that allows is your, when you're screen sharing, your audio to be picked up not only for yourself, but with all the viewers within Zoom. So I'm going to close that down. And the next thing you're going to want to do is go into the Zoom by clicking the link and pressing open zoom.us. So this is what happens here because the host is not on right now. Um, but I will just pretend that there is a session. Let's see here. There we go. So once you're in the session, you can open up settings and you make sure that your headphone output is set appropriately and your input is also set appropriately. So right now I have my outboard gear. My interface is the XR18. I can change to that. Um, what you're going to want to do when you share your audio with everyone is make sure that when you share the screen, you click on the share screen function in the bottom middle of the screen. Make sure that you share the exact screen preference, which would be the screen of your digital audio workstation, the visual of it, and click the bottom left hand corner saying share audio. Very important. Now, once you share the audio, you're going to go into your digital audio workstation and go into your preferences. I'm just going doing command comma for my shortcut code that you guys also have in Ableton. And in your output device, zoom is an option. If you don't see it there, it might be that you need to restart your digital audio workstation. Ableton or Logic and then restart it again um, or you might need to restart your Zoom call. This is because you change your settings in your privacy and to engage it you might need to do that restart. So this is what we found works the quickest. Once you've, you've enabled your privacy settings the next time you come on Zoom call it should work out perfectly. The only thing you'll have to do when you share the screen is en engage the appropriate screen to your digital audio workstation and then change your output device to Zoom. So once again, if you have, if you have any questions, you can contact us at sf.garnishmusicproduction.com. You can sign up for courses at sf.garnishmusicproduction.com, sf at garnishmusicproduction.com, and sf.garnishmusicproduction.com. Pretty easy. Have a great day.